Hark, ye seekers of sun and surf, a dire spectacle unfolds on the precipice of our beloved ocean beach, where the American dream teeters on the brink, much like the condos perched on our eroding cliffs. It's a scene straight out of a fever dream, where the relentless Pacific gnaws away at the land, inch by inch, leaving the inhabitants of these once grandiose dwellings peering into the abyss. In this corner of paradise, where the waves whisper tales of freedom and rebellion, the earth itself has joined the chorus of anarchy. The very ground upon which these castles of capitalism were erected is now betraying its masters, pulling away like a jilted lover, leaving behind a trail of bureaucratic bewilderment and existential dread. The condo owners, those captains of industry and purveyors of the good life, find themselves adrift in a sea of uncertainty. They rally, they plead, they seek the intervention of the city's machinery to hold back the tide that threatens to reclaim their slice of the American pie. But nature, that wild beast, cares not for the constructs of man. It marches to its own drum, indifferent to the pleas of those who sought to tame it. And so we stand at the edge, peering into the void, contemplating the impermanence of it all. In Ocean Beach, where the spirit of the counterculture still lingers, this battle between man and nature takes on a poetic irony. It's a reminder that in the end, the forces that shape our world are beyond our control, and our attempts to bend them to our will are but fleeting gestures in the grand tapestry of existence. As the saga unfolds, we watch with bated breath, a cocktail in one hand and a pen in the other, chronicling the great cliffside meltdown. It's a story of hubris, of nature's wrath, and of the relentless pursuit of the American dream, teetering on the edge of oblivion. In Ocean Beach, the adventure continues and the waves roll on, indifferent to the dramas that unfold on their shores.